Hey guys, I'm back with a two month hormone update. Now, a lot has changed <clears throat> since my first hormone update. A lot has changed. Um, I am still on two milligrams of estradiol and 50 milligrams of spirolactone. I take the spirolactone twice a day, one in the morning and one at night, and just the estrogen once a day, estradiol. <clears throat> okay, so like my changes have been more drastic. I'm starting to notice a lot more like my eating habits have changed drastically. I mean, they were a little bit bad in the beginning, but they've still been progressing and I'm eating like crazy and eating everything. I feel like I don't know if I'm gaining weight or not. I should probably weigh myself. Also, chest development for sure. My nipples turned into solid rocks. Now, my left one is going right faster than my right one but they're both still growing like I don't you can't see anything from the side and I have on a bra right now so it might look like there's something but there's nothing there right now but I mean there's like fat if I like push up there's definitely more fat in my chest area so I'm able to push up my skin like that which is really exciting I mean it's only two months and I feel like that's already happening who knows what's gonna happen in one year if I wait that long too get boobs but yeah um I guess my mental thinking is still changing into more feminine ways yeah um I'm way more emotional it's not necessarily a sad emotional but I feel like I get angry very fast so if you're about to start hormones <clears throat> and you just want to know what it's like I feel like I can snap like zero to 100 like really fast like there's no way to really describe it like I can just get angry over the stupidest thing ever and then be completely fine in 20 minutes. Yeah. So, that's what's been happening to me this month. Um, I guess the biggest one is the chest. Like, after my nipple turned into a rock, well, my right one is still kind of a rock, but the left one got very hard and then, like, it's, like, softening out now, which is weird. Because, like, you didn't be able to use the press on them, but, like, now you can kind of press on it. I feel like it got hard because it's developing and then it's like getting bigger so it got like a little bit softer. I don't know how to really describe it. It's weird. My body's going through a lot of changes. But yeah. Um, I can't really tell if it's the laser hair removal or the hormones that are making my skin a little bit softer. I think it has to do with both though. Most, I, I like not most people, ew, but a lot of people waited to see what the hormones did for their body hair and stuff. But I started laser hair removal about a year ago on my face before I was, way before I was even on hormones. I had started laser hair removal just because I knew what was coming. And I have started like, I did my whole face and then now I'm started like here to here. Because honestly I'm a very hairy person and I feel like this spiral lactone is not blocking my testosterone enough to where I do not have body hair. But it's helping with the laser. So if you are transgender and you are hairy and you do not want to be hairy, some of you might, I don't. It's not feminine to me. I recommend starting laser hair removal as fast as possible. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, that was my two-month hormone update. I will come back for three months. And then probably, like, I'll stop doing, like, every month. I'll probably do, like, a five-month and, like, a seven-month. Just to let my body really change. Because I don't know if every de like if I'm going to get so many changes in one month. But yeah, okay. Like, subscribe, drop a comment. Show your friends. I'm trying to really get a better background going and like a better YouTube channel. I know this is not like the best video setup I have right now. But yeah, alright. Be back with another hormone update. Bye guys.